वेलकम टू आ सेशन फॉर द सेट ऑपरेटर्स इन एस क्यू एल इन एस क्यू एल वी हैव वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स एज एरेथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स कंपेरिजन ऑपरेटर्स रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स एंड द सेट ऑपरेटर्स इज वेल सो इन द सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर द सेट ऑपरेटर्स देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ द सेट ऑपरेटर्स वी जनरली यूज इन द एस क्यू एल यूनियन यूनियन ऑल intersect and minus let's uh, let's see all these operators in detail the first operator is the union operator the union operator combines the result of two queries into a single query result this operator returns only distinct values from the queries now this is a sample database that is being used the first is the emp table and the second we are having a department table now the query for using the union is select e name from employee table union select d name from department table so whatever the common rows from the above sample table will be fetched into the union so this is the output we have the e name and from the employee table and d name from the department table here all the rows including the employee table and the department table will be used but only the distinct rows whatever the redundant rows will not be fetched from the table from the query so we have the john smith adams and price from the employee table and the from the dpt table we have d name finance management distribution manufacturing system and finance in the department table we have the management field being using two times but only one value will be used in the output so here we can see the output as well we have in the output john smith adams price finance management distribution manufacturing and system but in the management only once the value has been fetched even though it is used two times in the original table next is the union all and it combines the result of two queries into a single query result this operator returns all values from the queries so this is a sample table we have the part name 1 as first data table and the second is a part name 2 as a second table the fields in the part name 1 is a part name and the field in the part part name is from the part name 2 as well so the components the values for the table has been given the difference between the union and the union all is that in the union whatever the distinct values are there only those values are being fetched whatever the redundant values are there it is not being fetched but in union all whatever the dis whatever the redundant value is there those values are even fetched in the union all so in this example we can see coil condenser motor switch wheel and wire wire is a field which is used in both the tables so that is a redundant but this value is will be fetched so this is the syntax select part name 1 from part name 1 union all select part name from part name 2 so the first query union all second query so here we can see the output here in this case wire is being used in both the tables motor is also being used in both the tables but the value is being written in coil condenser motor switch wheel wire coil motor tank wire so the motor and wire is been written in over here that is what is the union all operator let's come up with the intersect so this is the third operator it combines two select statement and returns only those rows that are returned by both the queries only the common fields from both the tables are being fetched so the query becomes let's use the same database which we have used it for the union all select part name from part name 1 intersect select part name from part name 2 so this is the output we have the original table part name 1 part name 2 
the common values from both the tables will be fetched. So, the common values from both the tables are coil, motor and wire. So, those values will be fetched. The last operator is the minus operator. In the minus operator, it combines two select statements and returns only those rows that are selected by first query but not the second one. So, the second, whatever the contents of the second query are there, we can say that it is being minus from the first query and that we get the resultant output. So, here the same again, select part name from part name 1 minus select part name from part name 2. We can see the output over here. We have, we are using the same databases and in the output, whatever the contents of the second query are there, that is not existing in the first query will be fetched. So, we have the condenser, switch and wheel, which is present in the first query, but not in the second. Coil, motor, tank, wire, these are being presented in the first query, but not in the second. So, these values will be fetched. Thank you.